Good evening, everybody. It's your girl, Eating with Food for Thought Roberts, a.k.a. The Personal Chef, a.k.a. Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight, I am going to be showing you how I prepare my crawfish. People call them different things. Some people call them crawfish. Some people call them crawdads mud, bugs, whatever you call them, that's what it is. So tonight we're going to call them crawfish. Now the first thing I did, I bought two pounds of crawfish and I have them soaking in some salted water with a little bit of vinegar. I did my first rinse on the crawfish. First I let them soak for 10 minutes. So what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to prepare the crawfish. And I know people, when they do like crawfish boils, They'll have like sausage, onions, potatoes, all kind of that good, 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 good. Well, all I want is some crawfish, french fries, and a green salad. And that's what I'm having tonight. I'm going to cook the french fries in my new wave oven. This thing cooks fries really good. If you have not tried cooking your fries in your new wave, I'm going to show you how I do my fries in my new wave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fries on first because the crawfish doesn't take that long to cook. But we're going to do the fries first. But prior to me putting the fries on, let's, um, let's get some um, chopped garlic, lemons, and lime, bay leaves, and let's get it in the water. You always want to be ready to go. So we're going to put just whatever you like. I'm going to get these um, <clears throat> lemons in here. Ooh, I don't want to burn myself. Garlic. Now, this is a whole bulb of garlic. You know, if you like garlicky food, that's what you want. I just chopped it up. And you don't even really have to chop it up. You can just do like a real rough chop on it. Or you can put the cloves in whole. It's up to you. A couple of bay leaves. Some Tony Satcher's seasoning. It's my Tony's. And don't think, oh, she's putting too much salt in the water. No, I'm not putting too much salt in the water. Because one thing you don't want, and that's bland tasting crawfish. Pepper flakes. Or jalapeno peppers, whatever you like. Lemon pepper. You just want to add layers and layers of flavor. Let's try some Old Bay. Even though I got my fresh garlic, I still go with the granulated garlic. Let's try some onion powder. We're going to let this boil for about 10 minutes or so. And while that's boiling, we're going to start on the fries. Okay, this is uh, one and a half potatoes. Now you do, you chop, you cut up your potatoes how you like them. You peel them if you like. If you don't like to peel them, don't peel them. Put them on a um, paper towel because you want to get all the moisture off of these potatoes. So either use paper towels or you can use kitchen towels. Your choice. Pat them dry. And you can just really, with your potatoes, just take it to a whole nother level. Don't do that old potatoes and salt and pepper and stuff. You know, just bump it up a notch. Make it a little bit different. Do it a little bit different. We're going to get down in the sink because I want you to see exactly what I'm doing. 
potatoes in here. And this is enough for maybe two people, but tonight it's going to be enough for one people, unless my son decides to stop on by. And when I say bump it up a notch, okay, so what I have here is I have some um, roasted garlic. All you do is roast your garlic with a little oil, foil, put it in there in the oven, let it roast on medium for about an hour, check it. Once it gets soft, it's going to come out nice and buttery. And that's what you want. And that's what you want, this buttery texture. So I'm just going to take that and smash it. So these are going to be garlicky fries with fresh roasted garlic. That's it. Drop them in here. Granulated garlic. A little Tony Satchers. Little pepper flake. Make it how you like it. This is savory butter. I'm just going to add just a little to coat. And then you just take it, get down in there with your hands, and make sure everything is well coated. But you can add any type of seasoning, Italian seasonings, any type of seasonings you like, Asian seasonings. It all depends on what type of fries you want. Mmm, this just smells so good. If you're a garlic person, you're going to love it. Now, your fries are ready for the oven. So let's get ready to put these fries in the oven. All you have to do is spray your um, New Wave oven with a little oil, a little spray coating. Take your potatoes, drop them in. Spread them out. And these are going to cook for approximately 25 minutes. And by the time these are done, the crawfish should be ready. I'm going to cook these on 360 for 25 minutes. Now this is what your water should be looking like right about now. Your lemons are lemoning, your garlic is garlicking, your bay leaf is bay leafing, and all your seasonings are seasoning. So that's what it should look like. And whenever you do your lemons like this, like some people like to squeeze their lemons before they put them in, you don't have to do that. Because look at that. That's going to squeeze out. You do not have to do no squeezing prior to putting the stuff up in here. Because all the flavors of the lemon, all the juices of the lemons and the limes or whatever you put in here is going to just squeeze out. So let's take a look at these um, this crawfish and let's see what it's looking like. It's on the second rinse. It's been soaking for about 40 minutes on the second rinse and that's just nice fresh water even though it don't look fresh. Salt, sea salt, and a little bit of white vinegar. So what we're gonna so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rinse these off and run them through some more water. And this is two pounds of crawfish. Well, it doesn't look that bad. Pour this water off. 
and rinse these off because you want to rinse all that salt and vinegar off of it. And let's put this back in here. And we're going to let this water run until it runs clear. And another thing I'm going to add for flavoring is I'm going to add a little bit of um, ground powdered shrimp to the water. Ground powdered shrimp. That's what I'm going to add. I have a little bit here. And this is what it looks like. That's just powdered shrimp. And that's just going to give it more flavor. And I'm going to add some of this to the butter. I also have butter over here melting. And I'm going to add some um, roasted garlic to the butter. And now look how clear everything is. This might be the fourth water. I'm not sure. But this is what you want the crawfish to look like you want you want the water crystal drinking water clear now these are now ready to go into the water the boiling water and you're going to cook these for approximately seven minutes here we go it's that simple So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to swish them around a little bit, put the lid on, let them come back up to a boil, and then turn them down and let them simmer for approximately seven minutes, and then we shall return. This is my garlicky butter, and what I did, I did a half a stick of butter. I did a half of a um, bulb of roasted garlic that I already added. I'm going to add a little bit of Old Bay. Give it a little bit more flavor. Onion powder. A little bit of pepper flake. That's enough. I don't want to overdo it. A lot of people like their crawfish super, super, super spicy. And I'm going to add some more granulated garlic because I like garlic. And let's just put in a pinch of Tony's. Done. And we're just going to let this just cook up for a little bit, and I'm going to add some lemon also. Some little small lemons so that the flavor, the lemony flavor, can melt down into this garlic butter. And that's that. So I'm going to check on these fries and I'll be right back. Just added the other half a stick of the butter. So now instead of having a half a stick, we have a whole stick. So we're going to let that continue to cook up. Turn this fire down a little bit. And we're just going to let this melt down. And this should be ready in about maybe five more minutes. French fries are ready. Crawfish are ready. And we're going to be ready to plate up in about five, ten minutes. One last look in the pot before we get ready to plate it up. These are ready. Yes, sirree. These is ready. And I'm ready to. <laughs> Let's plate these up. And 
Everything is plated up and we are ready to eat. We have tall green salad, french fries full of roasted garlic, crawfish, and this bread you see around here, that's called focaccia bread. And I made that from scratch. I make all my bread from scratch now. That's my new thing. I have a video. I'm going to post a picture of the uh, thumbnail of that video. But anyway, I take that one recipe and I turn it into everything. That's a wonderful, wonderful recipe if you're into making your own bread. And that's focaccia bread. And it tastes so good. Some people say focaccia bread is bland. It has no taste. It has no taste because they don't add the flavor and the love into it. Put the flavor, put the love in there, and you got it. Well, that's my time. If you have not subscribed to my channel, subscription button, hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will know what your girl, Eating With Food For Thought Roberts, a.k.a. The Personal Chef, a.k.a. Renee, is doing over here. And tonight, we're having a crawfish hoedown, a crawfish shing ding. That's what I want. This is what I'm having along with my french fries. Some people do boiled potatoes. I don't want boiled potatoes. I want what you see. So thank you everybody for watching. And until the next time when you see me again, you're going to see me eating this because I got another video to do. Take care and I will see you on the next video. And thank you everybody. I'm out.